It is important to have an underlying knowledge of the stages of wound healing to know which stage the wound is in and what can be done to promote that stage. The inflammatory phase lasts from time of the injury to six days. Histamine is released and an inflammatory response is produced at the site. The proliferative phase lasts from five days to three weeks. This phase fills and covers the wound bed as quickly as possible through granulation, contraction where the wound edges are pulled together and migration of epithelial cells to resurface the wound. The maturation phase lasts from three weeks to two years. During this phase, the scar becomes paler and flatter and the remodeling of collagen increases the tensile strength of the newly formed scar tissue. Factors which affect healing are comorbidities, pressure ulcer risk, nutritional assessment, mobility status, continent status, advancing age, cognitive impairment, patient compliance. Here are some types of wounds that you may come across. Necrosis is a layer of dry, hard, black esker, which can be of varying depth. It can be intact or demarking at the edges of the wound. It must be removed before wound healing can take place. Slough is dead cells that sit on the wound bed. It varies in colour from dark brown to yellow and can be anything from thick and dry to moist and thin. Slough needs to be removed before wound healing. Granulation tissue is a healing wound bed and usually a healthy bright red colour. It can be pale red if there is a lack of oxygen and haemoglobin, or it can be dark dull red in the presence of infection. Epithelial tissue is a pink smooth tissue and can be found around the wound margins or as islands within the wound bed. Signs of infection include heat, redness, pain, odour, increased exudate, increased pain levels, bleeding granulation tissue, darkened patches. A haematoma in a stump is a collection of blood outside the blood vessels that can occur post-surgery if not drained properly. It can be observed as a dark bruising area on the skin and may bleed excessively. It needs to be removed for a wound to heal. Some dressings can irritate the skin if there is an allergy or they have been left on there too long. Macerated skin can occur around the wound site if there is a lot of exudates sitting around the healed skin. It is important to choose the correct dressing to prevent this. 